what's up? My name is Sonali and today I'm going to be sharing my hair care routine with you guys. I've literally been getting so many requests to film this video and it's funny because I actually filmed it like last summer but I never posted it just because I don't really do anything special for my hair. I'm going to be honest, I really just think it's like my Indian hair genes but I did want to make a video and just share with you guys what products I do use. So let's get started with this video. So first I wanted to start off this video by telling you guys my favorite shampoo and conditioner duo and it is the Redken All Soft. So I have been using the shampoo for so, so long. Honestly, ever since high school because that's when my mom used to buy it for me and my sister. So she would just like always restock our um, shower with it. And you guys know how it is. When you get to college, you don't really know what to get. So you just buy whatever your mom buys. So literally ever since high school, I've been using these two. So pretty much ever since high school, I've been using this. The shampoo and conditioner might be like $20 a bottle. And to a college student, obviously that's not very cheap. So sometimes I would just buy products that I see at Target that are like $5 and under just because I'd be running out of shampoo and want to spend that money like elsewhere. But I feel like every time I try out something different on my hair like shampoo and conditioner, I always end up coming back to Redken's All Soft just because I know it works for my hair. The packaging says it's softness for dry and brittle hair and I honestly wouldn't say that I have dry and brittle hair but I use it and it works for me. So if you guys are interested in trying these out or any of these products that I talk about, then I will link them in the description below. So I don't really wash my hair that often if I really don't have to. I only find it really necessary if my scalp gets super itchy or it looks really greasy and something that dry shampoo can't fix. So I'd say I wash my hair about two times per week, maybe even three if I'm like on the grind working out. But I actually just found out about root washing and it honestly might have changed my life, especially when I get into those grinds of working out. Um, basically what root washing is, is that you just wash like the top of your head and kind of like back here so you don't really get this part wet so you don't have to like sit there and style it for like hours on end after. I tried this one day because I went to the gym in the morning and then I was just going to go straight to film videos after and I didn't want to spend like an hour on my hair. Um, especially drying it and then styling it. So I tried root washing and basically just the top of my head was wet and then I could just blow dry it for like maybe a minute or two and then it would be beautiful and dry and feel just as you wash your whole head pretty much. I'd probably recommend doing this only like once a week, not like every single time because that would just, I don't know, that would be kind of gross. But if you guys have that problem of just like dreading styling your hair, definitely try that hack out. So when I wash my whole head, I do let my hair air dry instead of using a blow dryer. I only use a blow dryer if I really need it, if I'm in like a time crunch and I have to go somewhere and it'd just be weird to have my hair looking wet. And honestly, that's really rare because I never really have places to go, especially in the summer when I don't really see people. I usually just like tie my hair in a low bun after a shower just because I hate like having wet hair in my face, but then it's like wet for like a good 12 hours after that. So I really need to just like let it down and just air dry on its own. But speaking of tying my hair up, I do sleep in a ponytail. I know this is kind of like controversial because I've heard that ponytails rip out your hair and like make it more brittle, but I don't know. I feel like I can never go to sleep with my hair not in a ponytail, especially because if I'm sleeping with my boyfriend, he like rolls over my hair and then I can like never move. And it's obviously not very comfortable like that. So it's kind of a necessity for me to tie up my hair. Um, I'm not sure if it gives me any benefits or disadvantages, but that's something I do with my hair. So I actually have some more products that I wanted to share with you guys. First off, I wanted to talk about the spiral hair ties. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but it's kind of like the new trend. Basically, it's just like one of those like bungee looking like hair tie bracelet kind of things. For me, this is the only hair tie that actually keeps my buns in place. So I really like these hair ties. I got mine on Amazon. I will say that they might be a little bit overpriced sometimes, so definitely look for dupes, like especially at Forever 21, and places like that will probably have like the same quality for a lot cheaper. Next, I wanted to share with you guys my styling tools. So my first one is my Bombay Hair 5-in-1 Curling Wand. I used to have a Numi one, but it broke, so I thought I would just try out Bombay hair. Honestly, they're really similar. I can't really tell the difference, but I've been using some sort of a curling wand ever since middle school. I've always been really afraid of the curling wands with like the clamps on them, so I just try to stay away from those. I honestly don't even get how people curl their hair with them, but it always looks beautiful, so 
I really should learn it one day. And my straightener is the best straightener on this earth. Like, I swear, if you guys get this straightener, you will fall in love with it. It is the Babeless Pro Titanium Straightener. I think that's what it's called, but it's definitely by Babeless. They have, like, a whole bunch of different varieties of straighteners, like the skinnier ones and, like, the chunkier ones. I think I have, like, a pretty normal flat one. It definitely doesn't have, like, the curved edges, which I don't really mind because I don't, like, curl my hair with my straightener since I do have my wand. But honestly, any straightener by Babeless will probably, like, top any other straightener you've ever used. And straightener is sold at Ulta, and the great thing about this is that Whenever you get your 20% off discount code in your email, you can use it for the purchase of your straightener. So you can get a little bit of money off of that. So normally I don't use that much product on my hair, but I did want to show you guys some of the things that I use to make me feel a little bit more fancy. The first one being the best dry shampoo in the world is the Batiste dry shampoo in the dark and deep brown color. I love that they have like the different colors because at first I didn't know they had this and I got just like the white dry shampoo. And it was just so hard to like rub out of my head and I would definitely have to use like a lot more effort. I will say this is not a dark black color. So it's definitely more of an ashy brown and you can still see it if you don't rub it out, but it's easier to rub out just because it's not white. I recommend this to a lot of people and every time they get it, they say that it's the best dry shampoo by far. The last two products are from the same company and same line. It is the Lanza Keratin line. So this one is the Brush Through Hairspray, and I honestly don't really use hairspray that often. Honestly, maybe once a month if it's like a super special occasion and I need my hair to stay put. Usually I like the look of like fallen curls, but if I need my curls to stay, I will always use this hairspray. And then when my hair is a little bit frizzy, like after blow drying it or just being in the Orlando humidity, I will use the Lanza Keratin healing oil hair treatment. So basically this is just like Moroccan oil or argan oil. So you will just put a little bit on your hair, mainly at the ends. Like I would recommend just not touching your roots at all because it's really easy to make it look greasy if you do put too much. So try to just like aim it towards your ends, maybe the back of your hair. It makes your hair less frizzy and it gives it a little bit of a shine. So that's it on my hair care routine. If you guys are interested in any of these products, I will have all the links in the description box below. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys!